Hey warriors, we are quickly going to deploy this snake game that we created together in one of my previous videos and we are going to put it on a live domain on Vercel platform for free. You just have to open your Vercel account. This is my account that you see right here and as you can see I already have three applications deployed. And as you can see, my account is Hobby, which is the free version of the Vercel account. And that free account is totally enough for me and for my side projects, portfolios or for whatever I need to get those applications online so that people can access it. So to add now our snake game, I'm just going to press add new button and go to project. And here I'm going to get the list of all my GitHub repositories. So you definitely need to put your code on GitHub in order to do this. And now I'm going to search for my snake game repository. Here it is. And I'm just going to press import. Here we are going to put project name. It can be just snake game, same like the repository. And this one is Next.js. You can also import other frameworks. And root directory should be like this. And we just press deploy. So now what happens is that deployment started and here we can see live what's going on and how is the build going. So installing dependencies and everything like you're running it on your local machine, but this time it's on Vercel. And in the end, we are going to see that that one is deployed. Yeah, you see, we also see warnings. I don't know what is this about. I don't remember it when we created the video, but I'll check it out. And in the end, it should work. Here it is. Congratulations, you just deployed a new project to Vercel. And now we can go to our dashboard. And now if we go to this link, we are going to get the live version of our project. Just like that, by importing the GitHub repository, we got the snake game online and now we can share this link with anybody. If we get back to our production deployment page, when we go to our deployment link, here you can see that we have snake game main branch. There we also have our snake game deployed, but this URL is totally different than the one before. Here it's only for the main branch and if we would create the new development branch we would get the new development URL. So that one is really powerful if you want to push something to some branch and give it to someone online to test it out to see if everything is fine and when he confirms you just push that to the main branch, you merge. The important thing now is that we have continuous deployment and continuous integration. So now when I push something to Git, it is going to be deployed and visible right here. So let's test it out. Here I updated all the dependencies and packages and I'm going to push that to our GitHub repository. I'm just going to say latest dependencies and I'm going to push that to the same repository that we used on Vercel. And now the building has started for our new GitHub push. And here we can see the build. When we press there, we can see also all the details and how is it going. We're probably going to set to have same warnings that we had. Yeah, here they are. But that should successfully deploy and work with all the new dependencies. So we didn't do anything. We were not going to some server and typing git pull and then restarting some Apache server or something like that. We just pushed to git and automatically we have everything deployed. That's the power of Vercel. And after this, in our snake game Vercel, for each new deployment, we are going to get the new row here and we see which version is current and if this version was broken and if our build was unsuccessful, we would still have this version as the current version. I love how simple they made it to deploy everything and everything works so smoothly. I hope you enjoyed this video, warriors. If you did, make sure to like and to subscribe to this channel.